Right now, we are on top of this horrific breaking story. That manhunt is underway in the wake of that mass shooting in Lewiston. So CBS News is reporting that at least 16 people were killed and dozens more have been hurt. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News breaking news anchor Roger Suzanne just arrived in Maine and is joining us now live. Roger, we understand you are live uh, outside the school, the reunification center. What is going on right now and who are police looking for? Well, good morning, Nicole, and one thing that we can tell you is that reunification process at this local elementary school near Lewiston has played out, and we've been told, of course, that some families who arrived here got the most unimaginably horrible news possible. Again, we know there are reports of at least 16 people killed during these two mass shootings and dozens more injured, and as the grief process plays out, we also know that the manhunt here in Maine is continuing to ramp up as well. I want you to take a look at some photographs that we have of a person of interest involved in this case, according to police. Investigators say the man in this surveillance photo is 40-year-old Robert Carr. Now, right now, again, police are calling him a person of interest. And according to Maine law enforcement, Card is a trained firearms instructor believed to be in the Army Reserve, and he recently reported mental health issues, including hearing voices. And he had also recently been committed to a mental health facility after threatening to shoot up a National Guard base. Now, the mass shootings began last night, first at a local bar in Lewiston and then at a bowling alley about 10 minutes away. Police, again, are still searching for the shooter, although they did find a white car that they believe was involved in a nearby town. And again, I want you to take another look at that surveillance photo, photo one more time because this really does highlight the danger. You can see that the man who, again, has only been called a person of interest appears to be armed with an AR-15 style rifle with a telescopic sight mounted on top. He's also wearing a brown hoodie and blue tactical pants. And you can see his pockets are bulging out in that photograph. A CNN weapons expert tells us likely because he's carrying extra magazines. Now, one thing that we can tell you, as we drove into Maine, we did see SWAT vehicles also making that trip, as again, this manhunt continu continues. We also know we're going to be getting another update from police this morning at 1030 at City Hall in Lewiston. For now, though, reporting live in Auburn, Maine, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Roger, thank you. Live at the Reunification Center. And as soon as we get that update and more information on this shooting, we'll be the first to alert you both on air and on the Channel 3 app.